Hello, it's come to my attention that a number of news outlets have published a story today claiming that I have a £600,000 shareholding in the drug giant GlaxoSmithKline who are contracted to develop a COVID-19 vaccine for the government. I wanted to post this video to say that whilst those allegations are factual, my financial interests in this vaccine developing multinational do not influence my work as chief scientific advisor to the government in any way. I mean, yes, if I manage to convince the government that a relaxing of COVID restrictions and a resumption of individual liberty can't take place until everyone has taken a GlaxoSmithKline vaccine, then I stand to make an absolute shitload of money. We're talking about Saudi oil levels of money, Silicon Valley levels of money. If I can force the government to get everyone to pay for a mandatory vaccination, then I'm going to be stinking rich and absolutely drowning in pussy. But I can't see what the problem is, quite frankly. I see no conflict of interest at all, to the extent that I didn't even declare my £600,000 shareholding in GlaxoSmithKline to the government. It didn't occur to me that there was any reason not to keep quiet about it. Incidentally, it must be said that the development of a vaccine is genuinely critical to us all getting our lives back. Remember, if the virus keeps growing at its current rate, 50 billion people in the UK will be dead by October. The NHS will have collapsed and the government will have sold all the hospitals to luxury apartment and office space developers. And let me remind you that the virus has mutated and in its current form it feels like flesh-eating spiders are crawling around in your brain and eventually your whole head explodes. And sooner or later that will happen to all of us if we don't get vaccinated. But listen, I'm only an advisor. People have to do what they think best. But once it's on the market, I would say get hold of the GlaxoSmithKline vaccine. Otherwise, you're all going to die a brutally painful death.